Oh. Um, probably with the fan. I'm trying to get something to go right now. Anyways. Well, say you are playing this PlayStation 3. is a broken one. Um, I tried to get something back working on this thing, but there's just too many problems with it. So I'm just going to take it apart for parts. But before I do, uh, I want to show you something. Now, say you're... Your Xbox die. Your when I say PlayStation 3. This is a PlayStation 3. Okay, here's the case for it. So say your PlayStation 3 dies while you're playing a game. Oh no, I really want the game back. So you hit the eject button. Nothing works. So you say you turn it on to get your eject button, right? See, you can't do it. Turn it off. Yeah. So as you see. It dies too quickly before. Let me show that one more time. Okay, it dies too quickly for you to get your, you know, your CD out. So watch. Turns green for a split second. Turns yellow, red. So how do you change that? You want to get your CD, but you can't. Let me show you how you do it. Okay. Now what you need to do. You know what, I kind of need a thing because you need two hands to do this. So, just spare with me for a minute. What you need to do is hold the eject button down. This is the eject button right here. This is the power button, this is the eject button, okay? You hold the eject button, well, you make sure the power is off. Make sure you, turn, you flick the switch and power off. You hold the eject button down. And while you're holding the eject button down, you turn it. And what will happen now, it does a fan test. And it will stay on long enough for you to get a CD. There's no CD in here, but long enough for you to get a CD out. You hear the fan going? It's a fan test. You push the button, and if there was a CD in here, it will come out. But there's no CD in here, as you can see. No CD. That stays on just long enough for you to get your CD out. Okay, let's turn that off. Okay. So again. See? So I'm, I'll go through it again one more time. Hold the eject button. Keep your hand on the eject button. Do not let go. And flick the switch on while you do that. And when you see it turn green, it will start. That simple. And again. You'll get your CD out, you'll get your game out, because it stays on long enough to do that. Let's see. And goes to red. It just flicks the switch and turn it on. So, hope you um, find that useful. Remember, I'll do it one more time for you just, just because. Last time. Oh, my bad. Make sure it's off. Last time. Make sure it's off. No lights. Hold the eject button. See my finger on the eject button? I need the other hand to turn on the power button. Flick the switch. You'll see it turn red and green. And boom. Second, you hear the fan turn on. Get your CD and you're good to go. This is just to blow out extra dust and stuff like that. That's why it does it. And test your fan out. So you hear the fan in here going real fast. There you go. So I hope you find that useful. So the next time that happens and your PlayStation 3 dies, don't freak out like oh no. See, that's how you get your CD out. Hope you find this video useful and see you next time.